so welcome back so right now we are going to be looking at the auto fill feature of uh, microsoft excel okay so to some extent microsoft excel is um is smart so that when you are uh, imputing number and you drag it down the column it will automatically fill up okay so let's just assume we want to impute the days of the week in microsoft excel so i have my monday tuesday okay so normally or ideally you can keep on typing until you get to sunday but since you typed monday and tuesday microsoft excel will be smart enough to know that the next guy here is Wednesday the next guy here is Thursday up till Sunday okay so also when you want to go across it can fill it up the same way for you so that is what actually makes Microsoft Excel smart so if you notice uh, some of the content of the cells are not uh, fitted uh, properly so instead of doing the normal resizing for each of the cells and if you notice for each and every one I can just select the whole cell by coming at this top left uh, corner then double clicking on any of the intersection so everything resizes neat okay so uh, clearing all those so we will now see the smartness of Excel to auto fill for months so it works with anything that follows a particular uh, pattern so January so I can now have my months auto filled for me so I can also have a M O N for abbreviation so it's actually still auto fills it so if I still have G E N abbreviation it also automatically fills it up so this uh or this basically what so it actually also happens or can be seen with numbers so if i have one okay so uh and i have one and two so i just want to show us something so when i drag one down the column or when i replicate the value okay down you notice that one will be copied definitely but when i hit this option by the corner i'll see fill series so fill series will actually fill it accordingly okay but i might need to uh i might need to jump that particular step if i uh carry out that particular tax like this i'll select the two is that all right the two values and drag down it does the filling uh, for me automatically so it also recognizes patterns Supposing I have five and I have ten okay so I can quickly select the two and drag it down I note that the net value is uh, 15 and all that so that is the auto fill feature of Microsoft Excel you can actually use it in lots of application to make your work easier and faster remember the essence is to eventually know then make your work easier and faster so for basic calculation we'll be talking about operators operators in microsoft excel operators in microsoft excel so uh in microsoft excel basically what you work with is numbers so you cannot do without numbers okay so when you are working with numbers you'll be dealing with uh, the addition subtraction multiplication and division so we'll be seeing how we can make use of all those uh in this lesson so operators in microsoft excel i'll just merge and center this guy okay i'm the cells and i'm centering the content 
then uh, I can just give it a background okay we just have this so supposing I have uh, random numbers here I have five and I have um, six okay so I'll just make these guys bold and bump up the size a little just make it bold so I now have um, I can have addition here okay let me just type in the particular operator I'm working with addition I can have subtraction okay I can have uh, division Div division I can have multiplication all right so I have all this okay so I'll have to resize each one after the other so now when you want to work with operators you are invariably imputing a formula and there's no how you can start imputing a formula in Microsoft Excel without uh, starting off with the equal sign so for every formula you want to impute in Microsoft Excel no matter how simple it must pre be preceded with an equal sign so I have equal okay so I now have select the cell you want to work with okay plus the next cell so supposing I want to add up a whole, a whole bunch of uh, values I'll just select each one with the plus sign within so when I hit enter it adds it up for me so I can now go ahead to do the same so equal to uh, cell C5 minus cell uh, C7 equal to minus 1 so I'll just um, format this whole guys and then go up. Okay. So I still have to resize. Okay, I have that. So division equal to okay. okay so for division I'll have equal to this divided by this equal to that so for multiplication I have equal to this uh, asterisk so you just look for asterisk on your computer or on your phone and you have this I'm actually going to give us a tutorial of how we can actually do some of this with our mobile phone it's just that some of the uh, features of the mobile phone is very very limited okay unlike that or unlike what you have for the system so you have this for the basic operation is all right so remember you don't uh, start imputing a formula until you have your equal sign on ground so this that's about operators in microsoft excel excel as a spreadsheet software can actually be used for uh, data modeling by data modeling we mean a what if scenario so a what if scenario is just a simple concept that explains what happens to the outcome when the result changes I mean when the value changes now if you notice uh, if I change the value of 6 in the data given to 10 just take note of what happens to our different outcomes of addition up to multiplication it changes so you can actually use excel to uh, model your data 
This can actually be used to predict future trends, either profit or loss, either uh, the trends in rainfall, either trends in general data. So as you go further, you appreciate this uh, single feature of Excel. Thank you very much.